Hi and welcome. Today we look at the practicality of course completion, availability restrictions and activity completion. Now these are all new functionality in Moodle 2 and they really work well together to provide the type of features which were previously unavailable in Moodle without customization. Now some of you will remember the conditional activities patch that you could apply. Now although that was very good when it worked, this functionality is now core and it delivers some seriously cool options. In the corporate sector, there's often been a requirement for this kind of feature, providing that set learning path based on resources and quizzes and completion of tasks, especially with a view to self-certification. With this feature, you can unbundle the content and quizzes. So you can bring much more Moodle features and activities into the scope of learning and still deliver that structured controlled approach that's required in regulatory environments and that SPORM delivers now. So enough talking, and let's see something. So here is an example of a new employee just joined the company. Part of his induction is served through a middle course, so let's have a look. So here we have his induction course. We can see some content and some guidance. So let's go through the links that we have here. Please read this first. On this overview page, it outlines the purpose of his course and provides a link back to the course in the web page here. This is something I like in courses as it helps direct the user. Now we can have a look at some of the background info. Here's the website. Of course, this is just an example. And now let's look at the background resource. Okay. And again, I'll link back to the course. So one of the first things I want you to do is to see that here we now have three ticks of completion. And as you can see, we have now been opened up to some new content. Here we have a description and some guidance, and we have access to a quiz. So let's go and have a look at this quiz. So let's just complete this quickly. And let's get back out to the course. So now once the quiz is done, we're congratulated with our progression and more content appears down here in the second section in health and safety. So looking through this now, I understand the importance of health and safety and let's look at the document. Okay. And here it's asking me to set this activity as complete to verify I've read the health and safety guides. Now this would be usually done signing a form, but here it's just asking me to tick complete. So now after completing that again, I am now released into doing the quiz for this section. Okay. 20%. Okay, so that's my second quiz done. And I got three out of three, which is good since I wrote the question. Let's go back out to the course again. So here we are now congratulated. I've completed the second topic and here it instructs me to please schedule a HR meeting. So that's it from the user point of view. Here we have documents and items which we have done, which are also completed based on actions. Here we have a quiz, which is also completed based on a grade. And a steady release of content and activities for me to do, including one where I have to self complete. And then eventually when I complete the quiz, I now have completed the course.